the love in my channel. I'm Tiffany, or Tired Life Rancher, homeschool mom. And in this video, we're going to kind of go back to where I was when I started, because it's been a while since I've covered board books. So we're going to be looking at two board books in this series. One is Asian, because it is, in fact, Asian American History Month. Um, the other one is Mexican. Both of them are fairy tales. <laughs> These are two books in a series. These are ones I currently own. Um, it's called Once Upon a World. So we'll start off with the Asian one. So this is Once Upon a World, Snow White. The author is Cleo Perkins, and it's illustrated by Misa Sabari. I'm probably mispronouncing that. It will be in the description because uh, I can't pronounce these names. So this is a basic Snow White story. It's not unique in the writing at all. It's very short because it's a board book. And this is for your toddlers. Um, very cute board book at that. I like this Once Upon the World series. If you remember back when, if you've been with me since the start, if you've looked at my previous stuff, the Don Wally and the Day of the Dead books, um, the Ramadan book, and then the Chinese New Year board books. Same series. Same people. So that that's their religion thing. This is fairy tales. So it's you can see the illustrations. So it's very much, you have Snow White, and you have her wicked stepmother, the wicked queen, looking to her mirror. Basic story, again, she sends a servant out. She finds the seven dwarves. Seven dwarves. Again, it's very simple. They go off, in comes the witch. Again, this is simplified. She goes straight to the apple. Bites the apple because she's an naive little girl. Falls asleep. Print shows up. But again, you have the Asian influence here. Uh, very Chinese, I believe. And kiss and happily ever after. And they walk off together. So that is the basic book. That's all of this. So you have very much see that this is uh, Chinese influenced. It's a very, very basic story. It doesn't stray for anything. It's a children's board book that's inspired by Asian culture, so it uses that art, uh, which is, I'm assuming, why we have the specific author here. And again, it's it's a simple board book. This is for your toddlers. Thus, I have one, uh, which is the reason I have this book. It is for toddlers. It's very beautifully done. Um, from experience, this is not something you want to read multiple times over and over and over again. We limit it to two or three max leaning more on the one or two, actually. Uh, this is one of the longer books that we read. My daughter likes to be read to a lot. I'm not joking. We read books like crazy. She drives us crazy. Um, I love my child, but we read to her up to two hours a day at her own insistence. So that's this book. Very cute, very Asian. Illustrations are very well done. Again, very, very simple story because this is a board book. This is for your daughter. Just for toddlers. And so is this one. So this is Cinderella. This has a Hispanic and more of a Mexican flair to it. So the author, again, is Theo Perkins. In this, in this case, the illustrator is Sandra Iquata. I'm probably mispronouncing this. So again, you have basic stories. You have Cinderella, Wicked Stepsisters, Wicked Stepmother, her having to clean everything and be made fun of. Basic story. Messenger clothing. She has to sew all day and night to make their beautiful dresses. They leave. Fairy Godmother shows up. Basic story here. Becomes Cinder basically becomes a mysterious princess. Goes to the ball. And as my husband keeps pointing out, makes absolutely no sense considering they do not exchange names till the la till nearly the last minute. He asks her name, all of a sudden she has to disappear. And you've been dancing with her for hours and you haven't gotten around to that? Yeah, it's a little weird. She runs off, leaving a glass slipper, which begins to my question, why didn't the glass slipper change back, even though everything else did? Makes no sense. Uh, sisters talk, stepsisters talk about it. Messenger comes. They try on the shoe. It doesn't fit. They ask her. It fits. They live happily ever after. Again, extremely basic, very simple. This is a board book. <laughs> this is for your toddlers. They're very cute. They're very fun. Uh, again, I only read them once or twice in one sitting. I love my child. But is, she's giving us a lot of books. 
<laughs> and we get very, very tired with her reading and reading and reading. I love reading to my child, but God, she drives you crazy when you're trying to read, for, read to her for like two hours a day. So, wonderful books. The other three books in the series are Rapunzel, which is Indian influence. That's India Indian for my American audience, not Native American Indian. Um, then you have, what was it? I pulled it up. Rapunzel. Then that's the, uh, that's the third one. You had The Little Mermaid, and which is Caribbean influenced. And then, um, I'm going to bring this back up. I had it up here. Once Upon a World. There we go. Bring that up. Where on earth is that book series? Um, and The Princess and the Pea, which is Russian influenced, oddly enough. So you have Asian, Hispanic, Indian, Russian, and then the, uh, currently the Caribbean. So uh, it's very possible that they are going to write more books. Again, they had the three religion books. They had the Day of the Dead. They had the uh, Diwali. I'm always adding more letters in there. And the Ramadan book, which I already read, and the uh, Chinese New Year. I covered all four of them previously, early on, when I started the channel. Um, this is going to come out literally in June of 2022. Um, an idea of these strange things. This is being filmed in July of 2021. <laughs> so, as of right now, my toddler is just almost two. As of the time this is going to come out, when you are seeing this, she will be almost three. So, uh a little bit of a step back in time. But again, back to these books. Wonderful books. Um, I like the series. I like the religion series of four books that I'd done previously. I did three of them uh, at once, and then I did Chinese New Year later because I hadn't bought it yet. So, and I will definitely cover the other three books when I get them. They are on the list, but Cinderella and Snow White are what I got now. Fantastic books. Uh, really good cultural stuff. Love the illustration. The stories are really, really simple. It's basic Cinderella and Snow White. So, uh, they're basic fairy tales in that sense. Very, very fairy tale. Because again, these are for toddlers. So, that's really it for this video. There's not much else to say. I will definitely cover the uh, other books. The Rapunzel, The Little Mermaid, and The Princess and the Pea. Uh, once I get a hold of them, I will definitely be adding them to our board book collection, as much as they are long and irritating to read three or four times, as our children might insist, because again, toddlers, that's what toddlers do. They're adorable, they're cute, and their sole purpose is to drive you absolutely utterly crazy, because they're toddlers, and we love them. Um, so if you like what you see, and you haven't checked out the rest of my channel, please do. I have a variety of other children's book reviews. Um, I cover the rest of upon the, uh, Once Upon a World, the religions book, a long time ago, <laughs> uh, back when I first started this channel, I've covered a variety of other children's books. Be sure to check out. I have dozens of playlists to clear things up. I have film reviews. I have dozens of book reviews varying from teen stuff to little kid stuff, um, Native American stuff, Af African American stuff, more Asian American stuff, videos on film reviews, older films. I don't have time to go to the theater. I have a small child. Uh, I last time I was a theater was very, very long time ago before I had a child. So, along with a sprinkling of travel videos and homeschooling stuff, we are non-religious homeschoolers, so we are secular. So I will add some of that uh, periodically when it comes up. So be on the lookout for that and look forward to more stuff. Thank you.